guys, so today's video is going to be a haul. I haven't done a haul in a really long time. I did pick up a, quite a few things here and there, but remember, I went on vacation, so I didn't really buy anything. These are all basically thrifty finds, whether I bought them on Poshmark for a great steal or I actually got them at the thrift store. Most of these things did come from Poshmark, I'll, I'll be honest with you. One item I did get when I was away, I was at the outlets. And yeah, let's just get into it because I have a ton of stuff. First thing I'm going to share with you guys are these bad boys right here. These are the big bottles of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana new perfumes. And one is, this one's Nirvana bourbon and this one is rose. And normally I wouldn't buy the full size. I would probably try them out. I never smelt them. They were, when I got these, they were still an exclusive to the VIB for Sephora, and I'm nowhere near that. Just browsing for Elizabeth and James, not even the perfume, I was just browsing on Poshmark, and I came across both of these bottles. Now, this girl, I believe she was an editor, that's why she had gotten them, and they were brand new, sealed in the box, never used. And I thought it was a bargain, because these alone each cost about $80, I believe, if not more. basically got a two for one special. The bourbon is def is my all time favorite holy grail right about now. It's like the black version and the white version. I love this one. This one I'm not too keen on but I definitely love it. This one is like a red bottle and this one's like an orangey. I'm just going to share with you this shirt because I am wearing it. I got this on Poshmark and it was brand new without tags. It's a Zara top and I'm just all for the prints this year. I saw this and I fell in love with it. It's so different but I don't know, I think it goes with me, I don't know, maybe you can tell me in the comments if you like it on me or not, I'm still gonna wear it, but yeah, strip on, you can kind of see my bra through it, but I'm just wearing it right now to film, and it's just, it looks like this, it's just flowy, and 40 something dollars, and I only got it for about 20 bucks, so that was a great steal at the outlet when um, I went to Atlantic City, and these are kid size, gray anything, gray, black, white, neutrals are basically what I normally do wear. So when I saw these, I had to just pick them up because I am on a sneaker kick as well. It's pretty basic for fall and I love them. I haven't worn them yet and I got them for about $40, which isn't bad at all. So this blouse right here, now it's wrinkled because this is how it came and I knew it was going to come like this because the girl had a picture of it like this. And it's just another Zara top. It's a size extra small as well as this one. And it just has birds on it. It's like a light pink, very, very light pink top. And it's kind of high-low. I'm going to be wearing this for my cousin's upcoming baby shower slash gender reveal party. So you might see me do an outfit of the day in this as to what I'm wearing. I'm just going to recreate a look that I saw on the show Younger with Hilary Duff. It doesn't even look like the girl wore other than the fact that it's wrinkled. Blouses are always like around $40, $50, maybe even $60. And I got it for like $24. So it's this beautiful two-toned trench coat. And it's very thick, perfect for the fall, chilly fall nights as well as when we go into winter. The other trench that I have is too thin and it's more of a spring kind of jacket. And I really love this. I love how it looks on. I cannot wait to wear this. It's by the brand RYN, and it's a size small. The only issue, the reason why it was cheap is because the buttons are kind of loose, but I can I can always fix that. I love Zara, but sometimes it's too hard. And Well, the closest to me is in 34th Street, and that's always like this, full of people, and the lines are almost at the door. So I got this beautiful knitted, it's I think part of their, yeah, their knitwear, Zara Knit, and I love this. I was scared it might be itchy, but it's not. It's a size medium front, a knitted sweater, and then the back has all of these buttons going down. It's not itchy whatsoever. It's very comfortable, and I cannot wait to wear all of this because today, it's not fall yet, but it is September. It's September 3rd, and it's actually getting, well, it was actually chilly today, so I was excited to wear my fall attire even though it's still summer. Another thrifty find that I got off of Posh were these pajamas and they are pizza pajamas. These actually were brand new with tags. I have the tags on now because I took them off because I was wearing them. But they are 
so comfortable, so cozy, and they're by the Exhilaration brand by Target. I probably could have gone with an extra small, but hey, it was way cheaper than what I probably would have paid at Target. Long johns, you can say, with pizzas all over it, and it came with the top. The lady sold the whole set together instead of selling it separate day when I was trying it on. I didn't feel hot. It made me feel so cozy. I think my brother saw me because I had slippers on and everything, and he said, you look like a kid excited on Christmas morning. <laughs> got these J brand jeans. I also got another one off of Posh, but that hasn't arrived yet, so I wanted to film this anyways. It's basically just blue jeans as well. $13 for a pair of $100 something jeans. They're just basic jeans. They are long, which is why they're cuffed up. But you guys know I always cuff up my jeans anyways because I'm 5 feet and it's a struggle. I actually don't know how I fit in these because I'm a size 25 and these were a 25. But these are a size 24 and I had no idea. But they slipped on like nothing and they kind of stretch. These are by the brand Vince, which if you guys know the brand Vince, it's extremely expensive these jeans are probably like almost three hundred dollars i'm sure and i got it at the thrift store this i got at the thrift store for about i would have to say it was 18 bucks or something like that i don't know because it was a while ago they fit amazing i do have to cut cuff them up but not really but they make everything just you know and then the butt looks good that's all that matters if the butt looks good you're good to go and you can breathe because you don't want to not breathe before I show you my last two kind of big finds I'm going to share with you Oops, I got these off of Poshmark I just pictured myself wearing it with this blouse that I'm wearing right now and they're just these Chinese laundry little booties and they're in perfect condition they're like more suede it honestly I it looks like the girl never even wore them because, well, now it's a little dirty because I wore them today, but unless she really cleaned them off. But these are just a size 6. I range from a 5 to a 6. So these are really cute and they're very comfortable given the fact that they kind of have like a bigger heel. Normally I die real quick in shoes, but these are very comfortable. So I definitely guess it's worth the investment on these because they're probably around 80 to 100 something dollars. Balenciaga bag as well as a rag and bone pair of booties. Now I'm just gonna go into this. This is one of my recent purchases. I was contemplating on this but I saw them. They're very worn which is what I kept in mind because when you have certain high heels you kind of have to break them in and these are years old from the girl and they look so great you can still walk in them I have a, a shoe repair shop down the block for me so I can always just go there so let's just get into it um, and also she gave me a good deal I ended up only paying $48 out of my pocket well out of yeah out of my pocket because I had $12 funds from selling because I do sell on Poshmark which I'll leave the link down below and these boots are originally 500 and something dollars and I got these Newberry booties. They're dirty obviously, I will clean them, I haven't worn them yet. But I got these babies for 48 bucks. In total they were 60 but because I had funds I only paid 48 And they have a lot of life left in them. Yes they are dirty, I don't care. You can't pass up $48 boots like this and they look good there's only one little issue here but like I said a repair store is down the block for me and I can just go there and get them so you'll definitely see me wearing these soon in an outfit of the day I don't know if I've ever mentioned this here but um, I do own an Alexander Wang Rocky bag that I got from eBay authentic everything's good for a great deal like almost two years ago now and I was browsing I always look for Balenciagas because I really want one They're pretty pricey but I don't care about wear and tear because that you can easily fix yourself so I was browsing and then I came across this bag now it was at a time where I was going on vacation so I couldn't really spend money but I said if it's there by a certain day it's meant to be and I'm going to get it now I wasn't sure if it was authentic or not because it did come from those online eBay consignment shops 
And sometimes those are tricky. Sometimes you can get counterfeit bags, which sucks. So even though the deal, like the price was reasonable, I did not want to spend still that chunk of money on something that might not be real. Now moving forward to, I was really, like this bag was on my mind. I needed this bag. I thought it was a great deal and you cannot pass this up. It is a vintage bag. It's from 2005, I believe, because when I typed it in, it came out to 2005. They're original smaller bags. So I was just browsing and I came across the purse forum and someone actually, I guess, was considering buying it because they posted it on there and they said hey to the authenticators like is this bag authentic and they said there's no red flags it was authentic I, didn't I snatch that up before I went on vacation now this is the bag it might not look like a lot to you guys but it fits a ton of stuff in this little bag you can fill it up and what I love about it it came with a dust bag it also came with the mirror which is inside here came with the mirror, the tassels, like everything is just so perfect, it's like all the, you know, stuff here. The only issue I had was this, this strap was very small and I don't carry my bags like this, but I've been using my Alexander Wang strap because of the metal, they're the same color, so I've been using that, although the bag is an acid, so it's like a yellowy green. But that doesn't bother me. It looks really great. There's hardly any wear on it, to be honest. You can't even see anything. Maybe minimal cracking, but that's about it. I've worn this bag every day since I've gotten it. I just recently put it away, just so that way I don't really damage it. But I will do a What's in My Bag video with this. I ordered a similar, like, gunmetal color for this bag, like a longer strap, but I still haven't gotten it. I love this bag, and I only got it for $175. i am pretty sure this was around $600 and up when it first came out. This is a 2005 edition bag. I guess this is their first range of mini bags, because now they're obviously upgraded, and they have longer straps. But I love, I'm a huge sucker for Balenciaga, and I cannot wait to invest in another one, maybe a bigger one. Like, I really want the city bag. I'm a tell. One bag at a time, but this is definitely my prized possession because I paid with my own money as well as I did for any of my designer bags and all of these things I paid out of my pocket, which really means a lot to me. So yeah, that's it. That's everything in this haul. Sorry I was talking forever. If the qual quality looks a little better, it's because I also got a new iPhone. Hallelujah, I got the iPhone 6S. I was definitely not going to get the new 7 coming out next week because that disaster. Comment below if you would like me to film more on here rather than my iPad. And yeah, don't forget to thumbs up this video for more hauls. I am back. I'm sorry that I keep going MIA on you guys. It's just, I have a blog now and I'm really into blogging. I do my fashion there. I do my food vlogs. So if you want to follow me on my kind of more day-to-day, -day, weekly to weekly basis, you can just definitely just subscribe to it. I'm really doing well on there, so it's really fun. It's just the same as this, Val's Lifestyle at WordPress.com. Um, so yeah. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys continue to subscribe and comment and be awesome because that means a lot to me. And yeah.